helping more women pursue their passion in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM. Uh, NTU is launching scholarships and mentoring programs thanks to a million-dollar donation from Manpower Minister Tan Si Leng. A study by NTU researchers had found that half of women in the STEM industry believe their gender makes it harder for them to progress in their career. Sherry Lok has this report. Complex economic or digital concepts, all broken down through interactive infographics. Chia Yihui is changing the game for STEM companies, though it hasn't always been easy. She's learned to roll with the punches. I would say like um, gender biases exist, it is real. But for me as a female founder, I've learned to manage um, people who make inappropriate comments or advice in a very like professional way. Her secret to succeeding in male-dominated fields is to be so good they can't ignore you. But not all women share her confidence. According to an NTU survey of over 700 people here, women are less confident in their math and science abilities as compared to men. It's also found that women generally do not believe that they belong in STEM, and this is a doubt that increases the higher they rise in the field. On the contrary, one human resources expert says women can be an asset to companies. The first one is empathy, uh, where they are more aware of from an EQ perspective uh, when it comes to dealing with people. The second one is also the ability to multitask. It's generally known that females are slightly better at multitasking than males, uh, and they sort of you know, are able to be both right brain and left brain, which allows them to kind of go down that pathway. However, women only hold around 30% of STEM jobs in Singapore at the moment. It's a gap that NTU hopes to plug. They're launching scholarships worth up to $50,000 annually for women pursuing STEM degrees. And in a bid to retain more women in the STEM industry, upcoming mentoring programs programs will pair budding engineers and scientists with female industry leaders. These initiatives are thanks to Dr Tan Seeling's gift, which was made in his personal capacity. In our smart nation, STEM is where there will be continual abundance of opportunities and we have to put in every ounce of effort to support women to enter and maximise their potential in the STEM fields in Singapore. Dr Tan also says the government is working with various stakeholders to recruit and profile more women in STEM. It's part of efforts to build a fairer society, as laid out in the recent white paper on women's development.